There he is. Oh, that's a good fish. Way back in there is a fish. How are we gonna find them? We're, I mean, you're supposed to have a graph breaking, right? Yeah, yeah, they're supposed to be a big 10 inch uh, Garmin 1042. What happened to it? It's on the front of our tournament boat because we're getting ready to head to Wachita River um, here, not tomorrow, but the next day. And go down there and start fishing the tournament. But So that's where it's at. It's on that boat because we use it for live scope, which we will pro probably get in that boat sometime throughout these videos and uh, do some fishing out there and show you some live scope stuff. But, so yeah, the grab, it's all right here. It's all in this. It's all we're using right now. It's all you need, right? It's all I need. Kyler's gonna walk through his setup. Kind of, I, I'm obviously biased because you pretty much taught me how to dock shoot. Yeah. But we're using longer rods. A lot of people use, a lot of people use five and five, five and a half. Some people use six footers. He's using a seven. I'm gonna be using a seven and a half foot. I'm gonna let him walk you through his setup and then I'll walk you through mine. Yeah. So go ahead. So what I got here is a seven foot trick stick made by Jinko. Um, this rod was designed um, for dock shooting and for casting. That's why it's got extra guides in it. But the reason why you want a longer rod for dock shooting is so that way you get the the right angle when you're shooting. Okay, so I, I, don't, I don't bend down. I don't get on my knees. I don't sit in the chair whenever I'm dock shooting. So you pull up to the dock, a lot of guys, what you're going to see them do when they're shooting docks, they're going to get down on their knees and they're going to pull that rod back just like that and try to shoot underneath there. Whenever you're using a longer rod, like a seven footer, like this trick stick here, you can stand flat, flat footed, straight up and down, pull it back and shoot it right underneath there. And that right there was a perfect shot. If there's a fish under there, I'll catch it. There it was. And I missed it. That's how you do it. So this is the seven and a half foot ACC. I'm using a 500 size reel. This is actually an ice fishing reel that I use. Kyler, what are you, are you using a 1000 or 2000? I'm using a 1000 series. 1000 size reel. The smaller spools are gonna be easier for you to let the line come off as you're shooting it. So I recommend 500 to 1000 size reel for dock shooting. I'm using 10 pound braid. Uh, they don't seem to mind it. We've caught a few already. Kyler, what do you got tied up there? So I have eight pound slime line. Eight pound slime line mono. Mono. Um, I got slime line on some other stuff, but braid mono, fluorocarbon, try it out. And then we're throwing 16th ounce jigs today. Uh, during the winter months, last time we were here in the winter, we actually dropped down to 32nd ounce. It seems like that slower fall rate really triggered some bites, but right now we're coming at the end of summer, beginning of fall. They're hitting pretty good. Okay, so. one little one. Little fighter. Oh, there we go. Live well? She'll be very close. Where's the. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's underneath the uh, console there. Middling. He's holding out baits on me, that's what he's doing. That's why he's catching so many. Hold next to there in a little bit and see if I can get her out or should I just cut it? There you go. There you go. That is a nice one. Big fish of the day so far. What the hell? It's not even on. <laughs> well, there it is, folks. Big fish of the day. Here, I'll take that. I don't know what you, if you want to roll up there. Or... Oh, dang it. Yep, there it was. There was my fish. You get him? You're over the top? Yeah, that's a good one, too. You want to come, you want me to go grab it? Uh, it's way up under there. 
Here, can, can you see underneath here? Look how far back there he is. Oh, no. oh, that is a good fish, too. Dang it. I have a slight predicament. I don't know if you can see. Way back in there is a fish. Can't get her. And it's a nice fish, too. That's a really nice fish. That was the big fish of the day right that, there. That's a 12, 13. Dude, that that tap right at the top. Yep. Oh, there he is. I'm pretty sure I got oh, This is a good fish. Feels like one. What you got? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, nope. Nope. Maybe it's because I haven't caught a fish in a while. That might be it. That's probably it. That's probably bigger than a lot of the fish you've been catching. Up north, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Got me all excited. Dang it. There's some good ones under this box, though. You know what that was? It's like your friend says, hey, man, I just missed a nice buck, and it ran towards your stand, and then you just see a buck, yeah. and you think it's automatically the big one. Or your buddy calls you, says, man, I killed a giant. Can you come help me find it? If you find it, it's like a little bitty old basket rack. <laughs> Good one, little one. He was up high though. Oh my god. My anti reverse one on me. And we got a bluegill. Right. Catching a bunch of stuff back there. Everything like shade. Yep. Uh -oh. That might be a decent one. That's a good one. Nice fish. Better measure her. Yeah, I think I definitely got spoiled last time I was here. <laughs> just the amount of deep, of just big one one and a quarter pound fish. Big hole, aren't you? Yeah, I just got a tap too. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little tap out here. Little guy though. No, you're down. Oh, there he is. Uh -oh. oh no, and I'm over. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Ah, uh, no, it's uh, it's a 10 inch, I bet. There he is. Got him. Nah, he's about a nine. Jeez. I was too big to lift. It's about a nine. Yeah, pretty close to nine. Right I'm gonna throw him back though. Right around a nine. There he is. Oh, that's a better, that's a better fish. Yes, sir. That's a live well. That's a live well fish, for sure. Get him? Yep. Oops, sorry. Doubled up. He got me. He got me beat, though. That's a nice level of fish there. Get him? Yep. Get him. Get a fall one. Yeah, I gotta go about 10 more feet, I think. Cause that's where you are.
little guy, big guy? Yeah. Nice eater. Actually, I don't know. And he's a little yeah, small. I'm always, I'm over, not eating. Let's throw him back. He's too little. Yep. Sploosh. Well, it could definitely happen in this little rig. Oh, yeah. There he is. Got him. Little guy. Little guy. Quick release. Yeah. Down the mud. See that? Ugh. Hold up. Some muddy crappie right in there. The mud. On the bottom. So are we? Oh, dang it. So we're gonna drop shot. Is what you're telling me? Well, that is gonna wrap it up for doc shooting. Hope you enjoyed the video. Use some of his tips. He's, he's definitely taught me pretty much everything I know about dock shooting, so uh, longer rods for sure work a lot better. Absolutely. Save your back, save your knees, stand up and learn how to dock shoot instead of get down on one knee. It's a lot easier on you. And uh, I'll link the entire setup in the video description, rod, line, jigs, lures, all that stuff. If you got a question or comment, put it in the comment section below. And if it's super urgent, go follow me on Facebook and Instagram and you can message me on those. I can get back to those questions pretty quickly. So appreciate you watching. We'll see ya.